I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 284. Today we're going to be stitching using my mini 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching! I'll start out by using my mini 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler and stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of my quilt block. When I get back to the corner where I started, then I'm going to adjust the mini 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler and use it, the largest curve, to stitch point-to-point -point curves. Anytime you're stitching point-to-point -point curves, just a little reminder, you always want to hold your ruler a quarter of an inch away from the point where you want your thread to intersect so that you have that nice, perfect point. I'll stitch point to point all the way around this block on all four sides. Once I get back to that point where I started, then I'm going to travel along my original stitch line, moving in so that I'm a half an inch away from where I originally started. That means that I'm lining up my four in one mini machine quilting ruler so that the first marked line on the ruler lies right on top of my previous stitch line. So once I've done that, I'm going to stitch a curved line, again, using the largest curve from one point all the way across to the next thread. Then when I get to the next thread point, I'll stitch along that thread down to the corner, then travel back up on the opposite one, then I'm going to stitch another one. So I'm doing this four times on all four sides of my block, stitching out to those corners, traveling back along my previous stitch line, moving in half an inch. Now, you can always go through and add extra markings. I don't do a ton of marking, but you can definitely add markings. You could even mark out this whole design before you started quilting. Once I've stitched that on all four sides of the block, then I'm going to fill in the center with some fun back and forth straight lines. Obviously, you can see that I'm using my ruler to help me keep those lines nice and straight. Once I've completed this design, if I have done any marking, I'll just spritz that away with a misting spray bottle. I hope you enjoyed today's block and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.